Exploring the depths of underground caves and caverns can be mysterious, frightening, and sometimes outright scary. But Mammoth Cave National Park's history and wildlife say otherwise, giving an enjoyable caving experience for both beginners and professionals. Today, we look at the backstory of Mammoth Cave and its surroundings, as well as some of the things you can do to explore the world's longest cave. Let's head underground and find out about Mammoth Cave National Park. Mammoth Cave most likely started out as a small indentation in the ground called a sinkhole. As water seeped into the ground through the sinkhole, the hole became enlarged and began to form tunnels and caverns deep underground. As the water works its way through the many passages of the cave, it creates a damp atmosphere, causing stalactites and stalagmites, as well as helictites, cave formations that change directions, to form. Some caves will stop there, and only have a few areas to explore. But Mammoth Cave continued to grow in size, extending to over 350 miles, and that's just the parts that have been explored. Many more passages lie in the giant complex, waiting to be discovered. While some passages have yet to be explored, others have been traveled for thousands of years. In fact, it was around 4,000 years ago when the first Native Americans discovered Mammoth Cave. The Native Americans valued gypsum found within the caves, as evidenced by a mummified body of an early gypsum miner dating to 2,000 years old, found crushed by a boulder. Some years later, after Europeans started exploring the area that would become present-day Kentucky, they stumbled upon the cave around the 1790s and began hosting local tours of the cave. It was during these early years that the cave earned its name, after the mammoth size of the caverns within the cave, not after the prehistoric animal like some might think. The cave was also once more used as a mining area, this time by Europeans instead of native people during the War of 1812, mining crystals that would create gunpowder. Other uses of the cave included a church in the 1830s and a hospital in the 1840s before finally being used as an attraction guiding visitors through the underground depths as it still remains today. Of course, before the cave became a national park, it was subject to the advertising and competition that normally comes with major natural attractions. Several other caves in the area vied for tourists' attention in the 1920s period known as the Cave Wars, where salesmen along the side of the road would make up stories that Mammoth Cave was flooded and would promote their cave as a better option to visit. Of course, Mammoth Cave got the last lap when it began to be considered to become one of America's national parks in the early 20th century. With the help of Stephen Mather, the first Park Service Director, and members of Congress, Mammoth Cave National Park was established on July 1, 1941, and getting a formal dedication after World War II in September 1946. The cave is a cool sight to see, but above the surface there are also plenty of fun activities to do at Mammoth Cave. From the Visitor Center, a series of short trails to connect the campgrounds, amphitheater, the cave entrance, and views of the Green River. South of the Visitor Center, a biking and hiking trail extends along the former Mammoth Railroad, with extensions to other small features at the park. North of the center, more trails head into the hollows and creeks of the National Park, providing a serene backcountry experience for hikers, as well as overnighting backpackers. Along the Green and Nolan Rivers, visitors can go fishing or boating through the secluded mountainous wilderness, perhaps getting a look at some of the 150 species of fish that reside in the rivers. In fact, fish are just one of the many types of animals you can see in Mammoth Cave. Flying squirrels, raccoons, river otters, little and big brown bats are also seen throughout the park. Herons and hawks, owls, crows, and sparrows nest in the trees high above visitors, and many species never having seen the light of day thrive deep within the bounds of Mammoth Cave itself. Getting back to the cave, visitors can expect to see quite a few interesting formations while in the cave. Some tours will pass places like Methodist Church, the location of the church practices in the 1830s, and the ruins of the above-mentioned hospital from the 1840s. Other cool sights to see are the Giant's Coffin, Batman's Misery, the Bottomless Pit, which extends 105 feet deep, and Mammoth Dome, which is 192 feet in length, and has an overlook where visitors can stare at the massive size of the rooms, and understand why the rooms were called Mammoth. Mammoth Cave National Park is so much more than just a cave. An extensive historical legacy that spans from the first Native Americans that stepped foot in the cave to the visitors that tour the cave today makes Mammoth Cave a great place to check out both above and below ground. Thanks for 